Hey viewers, so welcome back to my channel and in this video we are with a question which is from Relations and Functions class 12 exercise 1.1 the first question. So here they have given uh, the set A which has elements 1 to 14 and they have given the set R where x comma y and uh, 3x minus y is equal to 0 so we have to prove if it is reflexive symmetric and transitive if it is yes or no so for that first let us solve this equation given so it is given 3x minus y is equal to 0 so hence 3x will be equal to y now let us write all the elements uh, that means whatever elements i put here they both should be equal yeah so if i put one then this will be three then if i put two yeah if i put two it will be six and if i put three it will be three three is, a, is nine yeah so next element is four so if i put four four uh, three is, a, is twelve now if i put five it will be 15 if I put 6 it will be 18 and so on we can go we have we can write still 14 now we have to find if this is reflexive symmetric and transitive so what is reflexive it means that both the elements should be same if a is uh, if x is a then y also should be a there is any element where x is a and y is a okay uh, what do you observe here this element this element is uh, uh, the normal natural number it is continuing 1 2 3 4 uh, normal yeah and then this element is the multiple of 3 3 1s, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 50. So it keeps on going. So one element is also not equal. I mean uh, A is not equal to A. So hence it is not reflexive. We can take an example like if you have 1 as first element is 1. So there should be another element 1. So there is no element 1 comma 1. So hence 1 comma 1 does not belongs to R. Now the next thing is symmetric. We have to check if it is symmetric. Now what is symmetric? If A comma B is there then B comma A should also be there. So if I take 1 comma 3, is 3 comma 1 there? No, it isn't there. So hence it is not reflexive also. 1 comma 3 belongs to R. But 3 comma 1 does not belongs to R. So hence it is not symmetric as well. Now the last one is transitive. Now what is the condition for transitive? If A comma B is present and B comma C is present, present then this will be a comma c so let us take the example 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 9 so hence it will be 1 comma 9 is 1 comma 1 sorry 1 comma 9 present in this no so it is not transitive also so hence None of the conditions is satisfied. If none of the conditions are satisfied, it is known as non-equivalence relation. Non-equivalence relation. So this was the first question from exercise 1.1 relations and functions. So if you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more videos like this and I will be uploading all the concepts as well as exercises with examples so stay tuned thank you